Huskies and Akitas are often thought of as being very similar because they both have thick coats and like living in cold climates. They are working dogs and are often bred together. However, the similarities stop there as their temperaments are very different. Divided into eight topics, you will learn everything about the differences in this video. Let us know which breed you prefer. Number one, origin. The Akita that we know and love today was developed in Japan during the 17th century. Over several decades, through breeding large and powerful undocumented dogs, the Akita was engineered to hunt wild boar and bears and everything else in between. Owning an Akita was once only a privilege held by royalty. However, he is now enjoyed the world over by the masses. Akitas hold a special place in Japanese tradition, and they are a symbol of good health, happiness, and a long life. The Siberian Husky was developed by the Chukchi tribe in Russia thousands of years ago. They were designed to be a canine race car, and his profession was to haul light loads over vast expanses of icy terrain, and he did so quickly, without tiring easily. Despite the Husky being a working dog, his companionship qualities were also favoured, and he has always been a beloved family pet. Number 2. Personality Akita Inus are hard-working dogs and they tend to be much quieter than Huskies. They're not really suited as family dogs because they can be antagonistic. On the other side, Huskies are friendly and outgoing family dogs. Still, remember not to leave them alone with small children that do not properly know how to handle dogs. They are also very talky canines, especially the Huskies. The Akita tends to bark more than the Husky, whereas the Husky barks little but is always howling or talking. Some find this adorable, some find this tiresome. So this is something that you need to be prepared for if you want to welcome one of these guys into your home. Number three, appearance. The Akita Inu is larger than a Husky. They are taller, standing up to 26 inches, which is 66 centimeters, while Huskies grow up to 23.5 inches, which is 60 centimeters. Akitas weigh up to 120 pounds, which is 54 kilograms, whereas Huskies weigh up to 60 pounds, which is 27 kilograms. If you particularly want a big dog, an Akita is the best choice. The Akita's most distinguishable feature is his curly tail, which looks like the shape of a Catherine Wheel firework and is always tightly curled no matter what state he's in. The Husky has a straight, brush-like tail which curls up across his back when he's in a state of alertness or excitement. Number 4. Trainability Huskies can be trained more easily than Akitas. This is because Akitas are stubborn and are not really family dogs. If you have a Husky, you have to tell your pup that you are in charge. Teach them where to go to the toilet and to accept being in a crate. They need to be able to walk on a leash and you will have to teach them to sit, lay down and other instructions. Akitas are more difficult to train because they don't give the same kinds of signals about what they're thinking and feeling. Because the Akita is a dominant dog, games whereby authority of power is being challenged, such as tug of war, should not be played. Instead, play fetch and frisbee. While the Akita is not known for his agility, he will happily give an agility course a go, as he does love to have fun. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment Both the Akita and the Husky need exercise, and lots of it. The Akita will need around 60 minutes of exercise a day, whereas the Husky will need around 90 minutes a day. Grooming is pretty similar for both Akitas and Huskies. Both Huskies and Akitas need less grooming than other double-coated dogs. You should aim to groom at least once a week, although Akitas probably need a touch more. It is important to bathe both Akitas and Huskies when they shed their coats. However, Huskies probably need even more washing. Number 6. Best Home the Akita takes his job as family guardian seriously. Whilst he is happy to play and have fun with his family, he is always observing the world around him and ready to protect no matter what. The Akita Inu is suspicious of strangers, and it can take a while for him to accept people into a pack who aren't immediate family. On the other hand, Huskies are not known for being particularly observant, and they rarely actively guard a property or family home. Of course, they are loyal, and if they felt their family was in immediate danger, they would protect them. But they are such sociable creatures that they 
they don't have a suspicious bone in their body. So if you're looking for a guard dog, then the Akita would better suit this role. Number 7. Health One of the most common health problems for Huskies is cataracts. They affect about 10% of the breed. They can also be affected by other eye conditions such as progressive retinal atrophy and corneal dystrophy. Huskies are also prone to hip dysplasia, which develops within the first two years of life. Strenuous exercise makes the condition worse. Some of the health problems that Akitas suffer from are similar to Huskies, like hip dysplasia and progressive retinal atrophy. They can also suffer from an immune disorder called acquired myasthenia gravis, bombilla brand disease, which is a bleeding disorder, and immune diseases which affect the skin. Akita Inus live an average life between 11 to 15 years, whereas a husky's life is between 12 to 14 years on average. Number 8. Costs the average price for an Akita Inu puppy will be somewhere around $1,250, compared to the average cost of a Siberian Husky, which is around $1,000. If you are looking for a specific look, or a puppy with the highest quality and even show quality, you can budget up to $4,000 and even more. Besides these costs, you have to pay between $500 to $1,000 a year for vet bills, food, toys, leashes, and much more. As both of these breeds eat more food than the average puppy, they might require everything in larger sizes. So what do you think? Do you prefer the Akita Inu or Siberian Husky? Let us know in the comments and let us know your experience. And if you found this comparison helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much for watching.